Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one small topic but very very important for the understanding of metabolism part that is difference between substrate level phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation. So let's start. So first we will see the similarity between substrate level phosphorylation and ox oxidative phosphorylation. So the similarity between substrate level phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation is both of them are related to the generating ATP. Means both of them are related to the synthesis of energy. That is the similarity. And this is the only one similarity. Now we will see what are the various differences between substrate level and oxidative phosphorylation. So the first difference is related to the definition. The definition of substrate level phosphorylation is it involves the transfer of phosphate group from substrate to ADP. Fine. It involves transfer of phosphate from substrate to the ADP. That is the substrate level phosphorylation. And oxidative phosphorylation is it involves the generation of ATP by utilizing the proton gradient which occurs in the electron transport plane. There is a involvement of proton gradient which is generated in the electron transport plane. So that is the first major difference between substrate level and oxidative level oxidative phosphorylation. Second difference is related to the site. So the substrate level phosphorylation can occur in mitochondrial matrix as well as in the cytoplasm. It can occur in the mitochondrial matrix as well as in the cytoplasm, while oxidative phosphorylation it occurs in inner mitochondrial membrane. It occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane because that is the location of EDC, that is electron transport chain. That's why it is it occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane. But difference is related to the pathway. The pathway which utilizes the substrate level phosphorylation. Examples are glycolysis and Krebs cycles. We will see the example of enzyme as well that will be seen in the uh, next slide. So pathway related to the substrate level phosphorylation are glycolysis and Krebs cycle. And the oxidative phosphorylation as we all know that that is complex 5 that is ATP synthase complex of electron transport A. So that is the third difference. Fourth difference is source of energy. So the source of energy is generated in the reaction itself in the substrate level phosphorylation. It is generated in the reaction itself. While in the oxidative phosphorylation, the energy is generated during the proton transport. And it is generated during the proton transport. So that is the fourth difference. This difference is related to the ATP generation. Now the ATP which is synthesized at the end of the substrate level phosphorylation is very few as compared to the oxidative phosphorylation. More amount of ATPs are generated comparable to the oxidative, comparable to that of substrate level phosphorylation. Another major difference is effect of uncouplers. The effect of uncouplers will be there on electron transport chain. It will have no effect on the substrate level phosphorylation but it will have an effect on electron transport chain so it will have an effect on oxidative phosphorylation. Now example of substrate level phosphorylation are three. You have to remember these three examples. One is the succinate thiokinase, second one is the pyruvate kinase kine, and the third one is the phosphoglycerate kinase. This pyruvate kinase and phosphoglycerate kinase is related to the glycolysis while succinate thiokinase is related to the Krebs cycle that is TCA cycle. In the example of oxidative phosphorylation is the ATP synthase that is complex number 5 of electron transport chain. So that is all about substrate level phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation. Thank you.